Star Citizen Alpha 3.18.2 just dropped into the PTU. This time, the EPTU, which is the second branch for PTU testing. As they mentioned in the last video, if you watched it, um, they're going to be running two actual PTU tests. So 3.18.2 is the very next one that we're going to be testing. And with this, the testing focus for this one is going to be general stability. It also comes with a lot of bug fixes, which we're going to go over um, very shortly. Along with this, they plan on doing Xeno threat testing with 3.18.2. Um, from tonight, like right now, Friday night till Sunday night, and then Jump Town 2.1 play test, which is going to be from Sunday all the way through to Monday. So this is going to be really interesting. Hopefully, you guys can get on and get involved. So now when it comes to the bug fixes, a lot of really good ones here. Um, so the very first one says harvestable deposits may be invisible to players, cause collisions and or become unavailable for scanning, mining, and salvage gameplay. So that's been fixed. When it comes to security work, assessment, uh, and protect site missions, remaining hostile NPCs do not spawn in. That's been fixed. That's really good. Players can back out of commodity sales to keep the profit without removing sold cargo. That's been fixed. So that was an exploit. That's been fixed. Fix multiple areas of prison escape routes where players could not vault out of that's been fixed also it says here if a vehicle has a repair hall section that section no longer takes damage and blocks damage to areas behind it that's been fixed before we move forward i'd like to give you guys a quick notification that we're going to be doing a vehicle giveaway this time it's going to be the great cat stv lti it's a great lti token and um, it's going to be for the month of april so all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel as well as leave a comment on any video through the month of april okay so make sure you guys get involved if you haven't already all right so up next is ships are sometimes being claimed at another location than the terminals it's being claimed on ai victim names not displayed in crime committed against name field that's been fixed when it comes to entitlement it says two extra odyssey two alpha uh undersuits in inventory that's been fixed when it comes to purchasing less than one scu of cargo into a ship the one scu is delivered and the price will continuously lower that's been fixed when it comes to desynchronization and UI it says party members who die in ship combat can become undetectable to each other whether you're on foot or in vehicle so that's been fixed up next this is the next blood QT sensitive crates do not explode when vehicles placed inside of a ship or a vehicle that is within another ship so that's yeah we thought about doing that ourselves so that's been fixed movement of players head is not smooth with track ir so that's been fixed there are frequent pockets of extremely low client fps performance in landing zones and ships that's been fixed when it comes to planetary tech trees spawn inside of rivers that's been fixed lorville new deal and vantage rental kiosks are missing that's been fixed Players can back out of commodity sales to keep the profit without removing the sold cargo. That's been fixed. When it comes to the fugitive recovery mission result in crime stat for bounty hunters. Escapees can press charge on bounty hunter upon being down or death. Interesting. So that's been fixed as well. Additional FPS AI spawn after the planet is streamed out and in. That's been fixed. Spawning ships causes the requested ship to be spawned outside of the hangar. That's been fixed. Reclaimer main elevator control panel do not respond. That's been fixed. This is huge. A lot of people that own reclaimers have been complaining about this, including our guys within our organization have been complaining about this. So this is a huge fix. Salvage lasers sometimes visually scrape hall but will not provide any rmc i have noticed this myself 
so i'm glad that they finally fixed this with this patch entering and exiting the seat of the vulture can cause the salvage beams to become desynced from their display settings that's been fixed the antares qed has low health and is easily knocked out once shields are down that has been fixed as well that's a lot of bug fixes with this patch along with this there are 10 client crashes along with 10 server crashes man this patch is huge with fixes hopefully it's good hopefully it's stable you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i will see you on the next video